five, four, three, two, one. Hello, my name is Jerome Chisholm, and this is my lovely wife, Innocencia Chisholm. We're glad you are joining us for another one of our trainings uh, for travel agents. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about the mindset and achieving your goals. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen so that we can get started. There we go. Great. Can you see the screen? I hope you can. Um, so my name is Innocencia. And again, I am so excited um, that you are with here with us today, tonight. Um, we're going to do our best not to take too much of your time, but we felt that this topic that we're going to cover tonight is pretty important, especially since we had sort of like a hiatus um, due to the pandemic. So now we're getting back in gear. We're getting stuff up and running. Traveling, traveling has been, uh, is beginning to pick up. So the question is about your mindset, right? Where is your mindset at this point on time of the game? So in order to move forward with your business, your mindset have to be right, right? And setting goals is cr a critical component of that. And you just don't want to set goals. You want to set goals that are achievable goal. So in order to do that, the first thing you must do, and I want to share that, first you must do is know your why. Why are you doing this business? Why are you in the travel business? Why are you in the service business? Why, why, why? And I'm gonna sound like a broken record tonight because your why is critical. Um, saying that you wanna do the business just for doing the business is not good enough because it's not going to be your driving force. There's something that has to be that driving force. You have to, be, what is it? What is your driving force? What is that thing that's going to keep you up at night? That's not going to allow you to sleep until you achieve your goals. So what is that why? Um, for me, and I could only speak about myself, my why is my grandchildren. Some of you may ask, or some of you that know me know, we don't have grandchildren. Not yet. <laughs> right? We don't have any grandchildren at this moment. But I'm not waiting until the moment that I have grandchildren to start creating a legacy, to start putting things in place so that when my grandkids come, I can do with them the things that I've been able to experience thus far in this business, which is travel the world for pennies on the dollar. Yes. I want to be able for my grandkids to be able to enjoy what traveling offers, the experience of traveling, the education that they that we have gotten that you get from traveling, the knowledge that you develop from traveling. So that why is critical. I can't tell you what your why should be. You are the only one that will know what that why is. And that why is going to be the thing that's going to be your driving force. Yes, it's the yes. thing that's going to, yes. even when you're tired, when you want to sleep, it has to be something that will cost you something. If your why doesn't cost you anything, then it's not truly and really your why. It has to be that fuel that, that you will receive doing the times that you just want to throw the towel in and say I'm done yeah. and guess what during the pandemic a lot of agents a lot of travel agents 
threw the towel in. And they threw the towel in because the why was not big enough from the beginning. Consistency and staying in the trenches because every day is not going to be up. You're going to be time that is up. You're going to be time that is down. But if you have that why in front of you and that goal, that driving force, you won't quit. So kudos to those who are listening to us either right now or going to listen to us at a later time that stuck with it, that stayed with it, that then throw the towel in because you did that because that why was and is big enough. It was even bigger than COVID for us. Uh, there was a lot of people were challenged last year. Uh, finances is a big thing that you have to take into account. Absolutely. Um, but sometimes your why has to be even bigger than just uh, uh, finances. Everybody has to live, everybody has to pay their rent. Uh, but there's a joy that you get out of um, accomplishing your whys. So what we instead of quitting, so uh, the, you know the, the industry, we dug even deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, we now uh, in in addressing finances. Yeah, you cut back on this and you cut back on that, but you keep going. Uh, and so that's what we decided to do was stay focused in the industry, uh, stay connected to the industry, uh, take time out to restructure. And we've talked about this in earlier trainings. Uh, and then and, and re even restructure the why. Uh, mm -hmm. While we share the same whys, we want to be in a position so that we can uh, be able to experience uh, the grandchildren uh, with total freedom, mm -hmm. be able to take them uh, traveling wherever we want. But I also was able to have a sub why where I saw other families that enjoyed uh, travel uh, with a level of confidence because they were working with the travel agent that they felt confident mm -hmm. about knowing uh, the advice that they were mm -hmm. giving because we were entrenched mm -hmm. in uh, making sure that we got that information and be able to share it with our clients and do it with confidence, which they, which shows in it mm -hmm. uh, is exuded through the, your speech. And so our why uh, was expanded to other families that had the opportunity to have a great week. There's nothing like a uh, 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 mother and father and kids getting together and having a great vacation mm -hmm. together um, mm -hmm. and uh, you know just taking a, a, a break from the stress and knowing that you were a part of mm -hmm. uh, making that family happy, uh, keeping them together, uh, allowing That's them to safe. have a great uh, yeah. experience and yeah. time together. Those are things that are just self-gratifying. So part of that why was not only our family, but uh, the, the families of our yes. clients. Uh, so uh, we've, we've had so many stories where we've gotten uh, uh, families together that hadn't been together in years. And we were, because we were in a position to help facilitate that, maybe somebody wanted to organize, uh, uh, you know, a get together with a family union or a small get together with family, but they didn't want to be involved with the, all of the planning process. Mm -hmm. We were able to alleviate that as travel agents. And so your role is huge uh, when it comes to a travel agent. And you come to realize that more and more as you get more and more acquainted with your clients. I became more intimate about uh my clients and, their, and, and having a relationship with them. And, and part of, as, as a travel agent, you, you become a, almost like a part of the family, family. sometimes, uh, an advisor to the family. Yeah. Uh, you, you connect it more. It's not just about, uh, hey, book me here. Thank mm -hmm. you. Here's your fee. Have a good time. And that's it. Uh, people, you get to know these families and before, mm -hmm. and you even know what they are anticipating, what they would like to do mm -hmm. in, in following years. And so those are mm -hmm. part of our whys that got a kind of like a subset of behind the why. So knowing your whys and allowing that why to grow is what I'm mm -hmm. trying to say mm -hmm. uh, is very helpful and it's been helpful for us and how it has helped us to uh, become the success story that we've been able to accomplish so far in a short six years. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're excited about that our why and how it's grown. Okay, so now you know your why, or you should more or less have an idea of what that is. So know your why, and once you know that, then the next step, <laughs> the next step, is to write yeah. your goals, goals down. down. Okay. <laughs> write them down. Three exercises. Write them down. 
down. This, this is for real. <laughs> Write them down. There's a reason for this. <laughs> Write your goals down. And why do we say write your goals down? We say write your goals down because, next slide, please. Research has shown or shows that you have an 80%. 80% success rate of achieving your goals if you write them down. I know of so many people that would say, oh, I want to do this, and my goal is this, and my goal is that. And if you ask the person, have you written it down? Most people will say, that they have not. They have not taken the time out. And that time that you take out to write your goal down, it is important. It is important for the success, not only of, of your business, but it is important and it is critical to your success as a person. If you have something that you want to achieve, but you do not take the time to put it in writing, um, we have goals, goals that we have, and we have them written down. And I have gotten to the point that I am, if you go into my bathroom, which is my personal space, I have, um, I took a uh, um, magic marker and uh, a paper, magic marker mm -hmm. and sticker. And, um, um, uh, what's those things that kids use to create? Well, whatever. It's like a piece of paper, but it's not the flimsy one. It's the, oh, it's a cardboard yeah, yeah. paper type of thing. And I have written my goals now and I've stuck it to the wall in my bathroom. Um, mainly the, you know, I don't want to say, but you know, the second one, not the shower. <laughs> and so when I go in there, which we have to go in there on a daily basis. So when I go in there and I close that door and I look at the wall and I have those sticky there, you know, like neon color, bright color, because I, I, I have to see them. And I'm reading some of the stuff that I have written down that are my goals and things that I want to achieve. The awesome thing about that is that because they are written down, because they're in my face, because I see them, it, it fuels me, it fuels me. I don't, I, I don't have time to quit. Even if yes. I want to, yes. I can't quit. And there are stuff on the wall that I, that I place there when we be gone. When we begun from this the business yeah. from the beginning, and they're still there because guess what? They have, have not gotten to the point. So goals, you could write goals down and all your goals does not have to be a goal that you want to achieve in a year. You know, you, you have goals that you want to achieve one year, two years, five years, 10 years, whatever they are, you must write them down and you have to keep them front and center so that the moments or the times that you want to quit, you can look at them and you say, I'm not done. I'm not done. And always remember the race this race, when it when you're speaking of a successful business, mm -hmm. the race is not for the swift. It's not for the one that comes out quickly and, and, and they're doing, 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 but it's for those that endure till the end. It's for those that's going to stick it out no matter what. It's for those that their why is so big that they are refusing to throw the towel in. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, I have remove stickies from that wall because I accomplish those goals. And when I remove, I add, because as long as you have breath, as long as you have breath, 
there are goals and there are things in your life that you want to achieve. But at the success rate, 80% if those goals are written down versus having them here in your head, in your mind, because this will fail you. We, we're not gonna be young for the rest of our life. And in the midst of everything that we have, in the midst <laughs> of everything that we have to do, life gets in the way. So a way to have it in front of us, despite all of the busyness and the murmuring and the distractions that happen in the life, if those goals are written down, you could either post it crazy like I do, post it someplace, write them down, type them down, have them with you, pick them, pick them up and just read them and go over them. Every once, well, I, I see, I see them every day. Every day, yes. And that's what I was gonna mention. I, yeah. I see them every day. But even if you're not a person that wanna look at or do it the way I do, I can't tell you how to do what you need to do for you. I'm just here to advise you. I'm here to share what has worked for us. Do you have anything and, to say? Yeah, absolutely. Because when you're writing them down, for me, it's like a letter to myself. It's mm. like an email to myself. Yes. And so every day, That's it's, good. It's something about it. You know, you mentioned typing it, but when she has those goals, it's all handwritten. So I, this, to, I, I don't know this as scientifically or not, <laughs> but it's something about seeing your own handwriting yes. um, with those goals. Yes. And I, I think there's something more to it than when it's just when they're typed in front of you. There's nothing wrong with typing them if that's the way you want to go. But when you see, it's like you, uh, it's like the difference between uh, when you when you hear yourself speak of your own mm. goals because when you write them down, it's good to to read them out loud yeah. so that you hear what you what are you, after and in you. your whole being responds to your own voice. That's so I just wanted good. to, that was one of the trainings we did. That's good. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> so write a letter to yourself in the form of goals. Wow. And stay connected to those goals every day. You gotta eat every day. You mm -hmm. gotta eat physically, uh, mentally, spiritually. Uh, eat your goals every day wow. so that you are digesting it and then manufacturing those, those mm -hmm. goals. You'll be making steps. There's some nights that a client will call me uh, 10 o'clock at night and they need something and I'm up until three, four in the morning getting what they need because I know it's like a short notice and I know if, uh, if I don't get to them uh, to it quickly enough, they'll end up spending more money because they're like within a two week period, uh, period of, you know, flights usually start going up at within two weeks time. And I and they called me 15 days prior to their trip. So I'm, I'm spending the night getting what they need if they want to go to Jamaica or Mexico or whatever, so that I can save my client uh, that much more money because what that will do, and they, they will appreciate that effort. And before you know it, uh, they become your cheerleading section. Mm. We've talked mm. about this. And so um, mm -hmm. my goals it, are, are in front of me. Um, and so it just as they are in front of my wife's. And so it's it's awesome to write those uh, that, those that that letter to yourself, that those um, notes to yourself and mm. read it in your own handwriting yeah. and on your desk. It doesn't have to necessarily be the bathroom. It can be on the <laughs> it can be on the kitchen uh, on the refrigerator door, <laughs> wherever your eyes are see every day, make sure that you are reading that letter to yourself so that you can push yourself, uh, you, you, you took time out to decide what you want moving forward. We wanted uh, to, to have an enormous success with this business um, uh, for reasons that we discussed and more. And so these uh, are one of the key foundational steps that helped us to do that. We can talk about all of the technical ways of making money and how to be a great travel agent, but there's some um, um, foundational uh, material yeah. that we've been trying to share with you mm -hmm. that you can stand on that will build upon, yeah. uh, that you'll be able to build upon. And that's why mm -hmm. in this early part of the series, we wanted to talk to you about a number of foundational mm -hmm. things that has helped us to achieve the, uh, the goals and the success that we've been able to experience so far okay next please it does not matter and i'm gonna repeat it again it does not matter how big or how small okay they are you just have to make sure that they are smart 
right? So I know some of you are wondering, what does she mean by SMART? And some of you may know what SMART stands for. So it doesn't matter. It could be big, it could be small, it could be in between. It just have to be SMART goals. So what do I mean by this? Can you, next. SMART, the acronym for SMART is, it has to be specific, it has to be measurable, it has to be achievable, it has to be realistic slash result oriented, and it has to be time sensitive. So if you're watching it, you could write it down. So when you start writing your goals down and your why, you know exactly how you need to go ahead and do that. So specific, measurable, achievable, realistic slash result oriented and time sensitive, okay? Always making sure that your why is your driving force, always. Why do you need to have a goal that is specific? Because if your goal is not specific, you're going to be all over the place. You cannot just say, I want to do this, or I want to do that. No, your goal has to be specific because, again, that goal is being driven by your why. So it has to be specific. And then when we say measurable, I, 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 I hear people sometimes say, oh, well, you know, ah, you know, it's my first year in the business and, you know, oh, I want to make, my goal is to make a million dollars. Okay, let's be, you, you know, how are you going to measure that, right? Because the measurable is not only being measurable, it also being achievable and is also being realistic. And you also see time sensitivity, time is time sensitive. Mm -hmm. If you just starting out, is that a smart goal to say that you want to earn some people, it, 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 they do it. I, some people are able to do it, but the percentage of the individuals that are able to achieve that SMART goal in the period of time that they are set in, you know, in the, in the way that they have made the decision, you know, the things that they are willing to do to reach it, to achieve it. And those are things that you have to question yourself because you need to know for yourself, is this why, is my why big enough that is going to drive me to reach my small goal, to achieve it? If I made a decision, a conscientious decision, and I put it in writing, that my goal is $1 million is my why big enough that it's going to keep me, you know, or people say that success don't sleep. Mm -hmm. It don't sleep and it doesn't quit. You just keep at it. You don't stop. And I heard somebody say, you keep going until the wheels fall off, yes. right? You just keep going. You go at it because your why is big. Yeah. And that is the thing that fuels you to do it. So yes, smart goal is key for you to achieve that. So I'm gonna give you an example. An example is a smart goal is something like that. So I want to earn $10,000, right? It's totally different from I want to earn $10,000 
by January 31st of 2022 so that I can take whatever your why is. In this case, my why was my grandchildren. So that I can take my grandchildren on an all-inclusive paid vacation on their spring break. This goal is a smart a goal. This goal is a smart goal because it is specific, it is measurable, it is achievable, it is realistic, and it's time sensitive. It's a big difference from saying that you just want to earn. I want to earn. I want to be a millionaire. Okay, you want to be a millionaire. You want to be a mil millionaire by when? And what is it are you willing to do in order to reach that status? What is the date by which you would like to reach that status? The goal that you have set for yourself, take a step back. Is this goal an achievable goal by the date that I have a place on this goal? Okay, so these are things that you have to make sure that you, you, you just don't say I want to without being very specific and take turning it into something that is uh, smart, okay? So it is critical, it is critical, especially now that we are in, in such a, a, a peculiar place, things are different. Travel is not what it used to be, you know, five years ago. Things are gonna be different moving forward. And setting goals is gonna be key to the success of your business. And when you set goals, because we know all of the things that is has happened and have transpired due to the pandemic, set goals in a realistic manner. Now we are ready in the month of May. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon we're going into the month of June. So you have between June and December, the end of December. What is it that you would like to achieve during those six months, uh, now that your business is starting up again, now that travel is gearing up again, now that you have made a decision, because if you're on this Zoom, you have made a decision to stick it out. You stuck it out to the pandemic and you're sticking it out through this business. So let's work and, and, and creating and, and, and putting goals that are goals that are, are achievable, goals that are smart so that you won't get frustrated. People get frustrated and think that goal setting is, is, is worthless and it doesn't work. But goal setting does work and it's work if you do it in a smart way. Yeah, and, and when, they, when it comes to goal setting goals, be sure not to undervalue your goals. Uh, so for some, $10,000 may not, may not take much to, to, to earn. Uh, so make sure they're just beyond your, your reach to, uh, uh, so that you have to push, push. for it. Yeah. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. And then uh, you, if you do, and there's nothing wrong with doing an evaluation mm -hmm. of those goals. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's key and important where, where there's an adjustment made mm -hmm. based on the reality of what's going on. So don't be afraid of pressing and pushing uh, it a little bit more for yourself. You can have micro goals with, okay, within it. So, uh, so you're, you're just starting out in the business. Uh, you don't have a client base. You're brand new to this. Uh, your, your goal may not be associated with a, how much money you made. It might be how many uh, bookings you were able to accomplish, mm -hmm. how many clients how you've many been able to connect clients. to. That's it doesn't exactly. have to necessarily have to do with how much money you've earned. Mm -hmm. Because in the very beginning, and uh, I tell people uh, all the time, give yourself 12 to 18, 18 months, months in this business. People got to know that you're serious about this business, that it's not just another 
thing uh, mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that people are going to have to trust uh, uh, that you you have the what it takes to to deliver because you're you're handling people's vacation money. Yeah. And uh, and people have been uh, pent up, ready to go, and they want to make sure they're getting the best value for their dollar. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's key and important that you uh, set goals that are realistic, mm -hmm. but pushes you a little. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. And then evaluate it. Uh, right. uh, so uh, in the 10,000 may be a great goal for somebody that's just starting for this year, but hey, three months, we have about what, six months, a little mm -hmm. bit more than six months to go, three months in, hey, where, am I at that halfway mark yet? Right. Uh, and you know, maybe I'll bring it down to 9,000 and really push for that. Mm -hmm. so, and, and there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. reevaluating. We've done it. Um, so. Uh, it, we were fortunate enough to really, um, we knew what we really wanted to do. We gave this 110% and we were able to really uh, 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 break our goals very quickly, mm -hmm. but it was not without a lot of sweat, sweat. <laughs> blood and tears, uh, essentially, because once we got one of our first biggest contracts, uh, <laughs> there was work to do. to do. There was work to do. We didn't even know what to do yet. And so, so sometimes you can put yourself in a position like, what do I do? But fortunately, you're, you're with the company and then we were with the company and you're with the company in Travolution where we had all the help and support. We yes. had people that were willing to, hey, let's roll Come up our sleeves. And let, we'll, yeah. we'll, make, we'll help you make yes. this happen because there was a lot of work involved when, yes. when you're dealing with um, a, a large contract mm -hmm. that we first uh, got. Mm -hmm. and, we, and really, we didn't know what we could do. We didn't yet. know what we was doing. We just joined. Yeah. Uh, but people had confidence. People were um, essentially... Uh, 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 good. With, we were. We had the confidence of the people, but we didn't have the knowledge yet. Right. But unfortunately, when you're working with Travolution, you you are with a company that, that is uh, you're you're working for yourself, but you're not, you're not. You're by never yourself. by yourself. Not by yourself. And I, I I listen to some of the other agents as we go to different um, uh, uh, meetings and settings. And I hear all of the horror stories where people are just mm -hmm. left on their own. Mm -hmm. You pay a fee, okay, thank you. Hope everything works out, type of thing. That's not what you, happens at uh, Travolution. Yes. And so, setting your goals, you're not alone either. Especially when you share them with people that are working with you at Travolution. We're here to support each other. And so, this this is uh, something that we wanted to share with you so that you understand that if you get this uh you can go a long way in the, mm -hmm. the foundation in the foundation so set these goals uh like we said write them down um and make sure that they're smart well i just want to pick it back a little bit on what um jerome said which is absolutely key right there are things that's going to happen in our life and you call that life happens. So you may have a goal that is a smart goal, but life happens, right? As he said, revisit it. Because of that life incident that took place, the, 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 the goal, may, the, the, the date of it, the, the, the achievable date, so it may have to be pushed back. It may have to be adjusted, right? Based yeah. on the on the situation. But the 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 great thing about having it written down and having it in front of you and knowing the situation and knowing the circumstances that adjustment can be made mm -hmm. because that live situation that that took place is not the thing that's going to stop you from achieving your goal is not the thing that's going to make you quit because right. again, your why, right? And I keep saying your why, and I'm going to say it again, your why, your why, your why is your driving force. And let me take a moment right here to make it really, really clear, clear. If your why is only money, mm. that is not a why. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That why is not big enough. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why that why is not big enough. That why is not big enough because when you write what you think is a smart goal down and you don't achieve it, and you're not achieving it because you are not doing the things that you have to do 
in order to really achieve it, right? Because realistic, be realistic about what you are putting down as your goal. You know yourself, you know your capabilities, you know what you are able to do. This is your business and you cannot and should not depend on others to do the things that you are not willing to do. So know who you are, know what you are bringing to the table. Know that when you set the goal, it is your goal. Right. It's right. not your goal and everybody else's goal. It is your goal. So know what you are bringing to the table and what you're willing to do in order to achieve it. Right. But again, if it's only about yeah. the money, it's not gonna, you yeah. are in yeah. the wrong business, business. Yes. because yes. this business, business is a people business. Yes. This business is not a money transactional business. It's a people business. When you do what you have to do for your clients, when you serve your clients and you serve your clients with excellence, mm -hmm. okay, I am here to tell you without fail, time and time and time again, because of serving our clients with excellence, uh, the money comes. Yeah. We don't have to cut corners. We don't have to, to try to convince uh, someone. We serve with excellence. Uh, and maybe perhaps next time we meet, I will speak about the importance of service. Uh, what what what's what real good service to a client look like and what it does mm. for your business yes. because it has done it for our business Absolutely. most of our clients are referral referral because we took the time yes without sleep we have gone yeah. months mm -hmm. days without sleeping yeah. Yeah. so what we are sharing with you we are sharing it because we want you guys to win. Yes. We are here to learn. We are striving. We are thriving. And we're going to win together. Yeah. We are trying to cut down the amount of nights and weeks and months and years that it has taken us to get to this point. If you could just grab a nugget that we share with you and run with it we know that you will succeed and you will win in this business. So what am I trying to say here after saying all of that? Could we go to the next slide, please? Thank you very much. Unless you have something to say. Oh, oh, the only thing I have to say about the goals but, uh, that, that came to my mind is that goals help you to soar, just mm -hmm. like the planes in the sky. Mm. Uh, allow, as we were just kind of alluding to, your goals to bend but not break. Break. Breaking is quitting. If you ever flown in a uh, airliner on a plane and you look out on the wings, those wings support the whole plane and everybody in it. Mm. But if you ever notice those wings, they, uh, if they get into any turbulent or even any regular wind, they will kind of, you know, bend a little, mm -hmm. uh, but they're still supporting the whole weight and allowing you to soar as high as that wow. pilot brings it. That's good. If it was designed to be stiff and unmovable, Ooh. oh, I didn't make this goal, that's it. That's, that's why we were talking earlier about be, you know, review your goals and, and let it Pliable. shift them. Exactly. Yeah. Then you're able to keep going instead of just breaking simply because the, the, you didn't meet your goal. Oh. So just keep That's that in good. mind as well. That is good. I'm telling you, if you're not getting these nuggets tonight, <laughs> I don't know what to say because I don't know why he drank or what I drank before I got here. But we are so excited about goal setting yes, yes, and yes. about what's going to transpire with you guys and what's going to happen with our Travolution family yes. that we are beyond. We, we, it, it, mm, yes, we're going to get together in person soon also, by the way. But anyways, let me say this to you. Stop setting goals. I, all of this I said, or we said to say, stop setting goals that are not smart. 
because the only thing that is going to do, it is going to frustrate you. And eventually you are going to give up on them and you are going to quit. We don't want anyone mm -hmm. that is listening or on this training at this moment to set goals that are not smart goals. If you don't know how to do it, find somebody how to do it. There are plenty of research that you could do, but the main important thing that you always have to remember when you're writing them down, it has to be specific. They have to be measurable, achievable, right? Realistic. Don't set yourself up for failure. It's not the goal. You said it. You wrote it down. So why would you set yourself up for failure? So don't set yourself up for failure. Don't set yourself up to the point that you, you, because you don't see nothing happening, right? You, you, you get frustrated. And eventually you say, ah, this travel business is not working. You know, the travel business, ah, they told me it was gonna be great. They told me this was gonna happen and that was gonna happen. Let me tell you something is planting seeds. You have to plant the seed. If you plant the seed, you can't expect it to you plant it today and tomorrow you pluck in a piece of fruit. It don't work like that. You have to plant the yeah. seed. You have to allow for it to, you know, germinate and it does yeah. all of that thing. And then it start getting some roots and then, you know, it start getting the roots and then you see the little something start sprouting out. And then, you know, and we all know the story of a tree. What happened, right? Eventually it, get big and then they start producing fruit. There is labor. There is work. Yes. There is, it, it, it's time. There is Water. stuff yeah. that mm -hmm. you have to do. Mm -hmm. And every single thing that you do to mm -hmm. build your business, to build a successful business, to build a business where people know that you are ethical, Okay, people know that you're trustworthy. Yes. People know that you are not cutting corners just because of the quote unquote dollar. You're not cutting corners because of the commission, but you are doing what you have to do because you're serving your clients with excellence. You serve your clients the way you want to be served. Mm -hmm, exactly. You do the things for them that you will want someone else to do for you. <clears throat> And that's why we have been successful. And listen, we are not done. We just started. We we we're not even, and I don't even know, but we are just starting. Mm -hmm. So don't look at the fact that we've been in here six years and you've been one year or six months or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter. It's what matters is your consistency. What matters is your mindset. What matters is the way in which you set your goals. What matters is your why. Your what is driving you to do this. What matters is the way you treat your clients. What matters are you doing and are you, you, what do you represent? Are you representing a company that is ethically sound, that is trustworthy? Are you working with people who are ethically sound and are trustworthy? Yes. People that are not gonna cut corners just for the dollar? That's what you are. We spoke about branding. What is your brand? What does your brand represent even when you are setting goals? Yes. What does it represent? Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Mm -hmm. So don't set goals that are going to frustrate you to the point where you eventually throw the towel in, give up and quit. We have seen too many people doing this pandemic, do just that. They quit. Yeah. Because perhaps they had a goal that was set and the goal was for them, they set a date. They wanted to achieve something by 2021. Mm. 
January of 2021, but the pandemic hit and they forgot their why. They forgot their why well, and the pandemic why hit. But that's why it's important not to set your goals on just money. Don't be strict about yeah, it. Yeah, because if you be spend money, bendable. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you 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 have to be coachable. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to know yeah, how to be pliable. Yeah. You know what I love, and I'm talking about that. And what came to me is a palm tree. Pay attention to a palm tree. A palm tree, a hurricane is coming or the winds or a storm or whatever. And most palm trees, when the wind hits them, they just go to the side. And then the wind hit it and it come back to the other side. The palm tree is flexible. It's pliable. It's saying, okay, well, the wind is blowing this way. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go lean a little bit that way with the wind. But the palm tree will always come back. To this unless a tornado come and pick it up well that's you know that's different <laughs> that kind of life event could happen but just think of that with your goals you look at it and you look at it and if there's something that you have to tweak or something that you have to adjust to it by every mean do it don't, but don't, don't quit. quit yeah okay Winners don't, don't quit. quit. Yep. Winners adjust and do what they need to do to, to, to correct whatever the situation is. You know, if they have to go a little longer, whatever it is, but winners don't quit. They, so I'm asking you yeah. not to quit. If you have to adjust your adjust your goal based on your why adjust your goal and the last thing that i want to share before we you know we just open it up for questions if anybody have any question is that i want to share with you is knowing your why and if you see in these uh slides i put the why in red and in capital letters because that's how important it is so knowing your why and writing your goal down, it forces you to ask yourself the question, is this what I really want? Is this what I really want? In order to answer, you have to take the time to think long term not short term, long term. And it pushes you to look past life distractions mm -hmm. and keep things moving forward. Moving forward because success in any business, I, you could start doing the travel business right now. You could quit Travolution right now. But I'm here to tell you that success in any business, it is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. You're not gonna go from here to there in five minutes. I'm just being honest. It's not going to happen. Right. Even with us, we, when we first started, we was blessed to be able to, the first business that we got was a 100 cabin mm -hmm. cruise. We had no idea what we was doing. We would have messed this thing up. And to some, that was a success and it was a sprint. But well, guess what? No. That was one step towards a successful business. Mm -hmm. So success is not a sprint. 
because you know some people get excited Ooh, wow, wow, how'd you die like that? Kevin, yeah yeah and they and they're done they don't do anything else they're done but it's not a sprint you have to keep going you can't give up you have to remember your why mm -hmm. because when you remember your why and your why is strong and your why is critical and your why is rooted rooted you know your why have roots roots to the point that you gotta you gonna shift this way a little bit mm -hmm. you're gonna lean on somebody <laughs> for a minute because yeah. you know you're tired so you're gonna <laughs> lean on somebody but then you get your strength back and then you come back again and you straighten up and then you become like the ever ready bunny and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and i want each one of us to remember that is a marathon is a marathon is a marathon is a a marathon is not a sprint and so we have to prepare ourselves as if we run in a marathon mm -hmm. in order to accomplish our goals let's be like that little engine <laughs> that i love to talk about that little engine that we set our goals we set it because we when we do it is is because in our mind we're saying I can do this, right? I, I, I think this is measurable. Um, it is a sh achievable. It, it, is, it is realistic. So it is result oriented. I can get the results I want out of this goal that I, I just wrote down here. And, and then I have a time frame that I want to achieve it. And then we become that little engine that's, that begins saying, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And if we all know the story and how it goes, it, it, it started out slow, right? Slow. You don't have to be the sprint runner. Yes. Be the marathon runner. You may not get a hundred uh, cabin booking. You may get one, but take that one as a stepping stone towards the other one and keep saying, if I did one, I can do two. And if I did two, I can do three. And if I did three, I can do 50. And if I did 50, I can do a hundred. And you have to keep saying to yourself, this is my marathon and my why. It's fueling and giving me the energy that I need to keep going. And so you do, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think. And then you win the choo-choo and you keep going. And nothing stops you. So I'm here to encourage each one of you. Stay in the trenches. Set your goals. Yes. Know your why. And no matter what, don't quit. Don't quit. Give yeah. yourself the time to build a successful business. Mm -hmm. Be ethical, be trustworthy, and most importantly, serve your clients with Excellent. excellence. Yes. Because when you do that, you will succeed. And that's what we wanted to share with you tonight. Yeah. I know I did a lot of the talking tonight because this piece is, is, is important and is very close to my heart when it comes on to goal setting. And I, I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. And I don't surround myself with quitters. I surround myself with winners. And I know that in Travolution, that's who we are right. and what we are. We are winners and we help people win. And with that, I am gonna be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, one last thing I will mention is uh, about goals is uh, please don't let your goals um, be smaller. Or don't let something like COVID now, whether it's COVID, what we experienced in uh, last year, or COVID, whether it's something else, else that represents, yeah. Uh, as, as, when we said a jest, 
Uh, we talked about a smart goal. Uh, it, it was talking about specific. You may have to adjust what the specifics are. Mm -hmm. We talked about measurable. We may have to talk about the measurable. I wanted to do it within a year. Well, with COVID now it's two years because I had to wait a year, but you don't stop, you don't break, uh, you keep going. Uh, you, you measure whether it's achievable. COVID may have uh, uh, slowed uh, the travel business down, uh, but what we did was stay connected with our clients so that as COVID started to uh, become more under control, all those people that we stayed in contact with mm -hmm. are now, and that's why we were we are seeing such big numbers in yeah. our business now. I, uh, uh, just uh, the, 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 yesterday, I, we booked an $8,000 uh, trip with just, with just one family. Yeah. Why? Because we were staying connected, connected. with them. So mm -hmm. that, that achievable might not be right here and now, but it, 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 will, it happens after things kind of adjust. So don't let a COVID experience, whatever that might be, mm -hmm. uh, stop your goals. Mm -hmm. You may have to ship. It may be not be realistic. COVID stopped, <laughs> made things unrealistic for a minute. Uh, but you've seen it in other businesses uh, mm -hmm. where they shifted. They, they did more deliveries than ever for meals. Instead yes. of when restaurants couldn't uh, have people come in, what did they do? They they started Grubhub, they, Grubhub and all, they, they shifted. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't realistic to have people come into their stores. So they shifted, uh, not stopped. They close. Some had to close down, right. absolutely, depending on the scenario that they were Situation. experiencing. Yeah. Uh, but a lot stayed there that could have quit. And then time sensitive. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when something gets in the way, life happens, or things of that nature happens, you may have to say, hey, I can't do it in this amount of time, but I can do it in this amount of time. The important thing is that your your goals is bigger than anything that will uh, that you will confront. You shift mm -hmm. it, but you don't quit it. And so with that, uh, we uh, wanted to present that to you because this has been a foundational aspect of our business. Mm -hmm. uh, without uh, thinking about this, um, bring, making it alive, making it uh, something that we look at, uh, something that we eat every day, <laughs> and something that we remind ourselves every day, we really wouldn't have been where we are now. This is foundational stuff that has helped us. And I can imagine any real business, mm -hmm. to could, but we wanted to share this with our travel agent families because really what we're hoping to do in these series of trainings is we want to uh, have bigger and brighter stars that will do well more than what we ever come. What Glory. <laughs> so what we're trying to do is say, hey, this is where your stepping stone. Take it to the next level. Yeah. Uh, your success is the our success, success, and we're excited yeah. about it for you. Yeah. That's that's the Travelation family. We don't. Yeah. We're not afraid of everybody else's success. We uh, we push for it. Yeah. So that's what we're hoping yeah. comes out of this. Yeah. Uh, so I'm yeah. going to stop sharing this screen and open it up for questions. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see, we'll open up this <laughs> chat box and see if we have any questions or you can turn on your mic and ask any questions that you might have in mind. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for the opportunity to just come before you and, uh, and uh, discuss with you. Uh, <laughs> Share what we have learned over the years. And, you know, in, in travel, I'm just going to say this. Um, most people in travel that are succeeding um, for whatever reason, they, they, they have a tendency of not really wanting to share. Um, they give you bits and pieces of, of what they are doing, you know, or what are some of the things that they have done, you know, to get them to the point that they are. And one of the things that Jerome and I made a, a very conscientious decision um, from the onset when we started is that um, we wanted to be different. Uh, and, I, and I thank uh, Dave and Faraday for having the same mindset where we wanted Travolution to be different. We wanted Travolution to be more of a family type of environment where, where we have travel advisors helping each other out versus this thing like when you 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 know it but you not help it no we we wanted to eliminate all of that so we we are being totally transparent with you guys we just letting you know what have worked for us and the our hope is that you will hear what we are saying but you will do it with a listening heart. 
that you will you will listen to our heart and 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 what we want we want to share what we know we are chipping away whatever amount of time it took us to get to get it and we want to share it with you so you don't have to spend all that time bumping your head and in hours of reach searching. We we want to help you. And this is something that we want to do. And for those of you that know us, you we are phone call away. Some of you picked up the phone, you have asked us question, and we don't have a problem sharing what we know. Because again, when you win, we win, we all win. And that's what we want to continue to do as a family. And we can't wait to see some of you. We can't wait to hear about your successes. We can't, we can't wait to be the ones sitting in a Zoom and not being the one speaking but hearing what one of you have, your nuggets, your golden nuggets that you are sharing with us because we don't know it all. But whatever we know is what we are willing and have been sharing with all of you. So again, um, kudos to those of you who took the time out to be present kudos to those of you who did not throw the towel in and yes. didn't quit kudos to you who stayed in the trenches doing this pandemic and then quit and because you didn't quit i know i know that your business is going to succeed you're going to succeed beyond measure and guess what when we do the celebrations, I'll be the first one standing with my cowbell or whatever, <laughs> hollering and screaming, celebrating each one of you that are here tonight. And those that were not able to make it, but will be viewing it at a different time. Kudos to you for taking the time out, for doing just that. And we will celebrate you too. So with that, we're gonna turn it over to Faraday, if there's no question. And again, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hey guys, I do just have one thing to say. It will be five years in August um, that I've been with Travolution and there has not been one day or one time that I have ever felt like I've been here by myself. And it's yeah. just because of what you guys say, that's the way it is. So one of my short-term goals here is to reunite with everyone Yay! back in the Dominican Republic. Yay! I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you both you. for taking life, your time life, out every life, Sunday. Yeah. Lifestyle, here we come. <laughs> here we come. <laughs> Lori, you're one of our reasons why we do what yes. we're doing uh, tonight. Uh, good friends such as yourself. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> we